In this video, I'm going to show you the best warm-up settings for Instantly.ai. I'm Caduce, co-founder of Informel. These are all my inboxes here, and I'm going to show you my settings, which I think that are the best. I run a literal software company around email inboxes. We're an email service provider. So I'm going to show you exactly um, how I do it. So in this case, you're going to log into Instantly.ai. You're going to check mark this box right here. You're going to uncheck or check the ones that you want to bulk edit because we don't want to obviously go through every single one individually. Then we want to click this little pen icon. We're going to go to the sender name and we're going to put our sender name in. What that's going to do is make sure that your name is in line with your email. So in this case right here, we have support at go high ticket, right? But if you have, let's say this guy had like, you know, Jeff and then his, you know, his, his email was saying Ron Medlin, then this would not be good, right? But you could see right here, Ron Medlin is appropriate, um, you know, in this case, but you obviously want it to be the same name. And as you can see, all of my emails are the same name. So that's why I'm going to have it at Caduce. And if you have different names, you're going to need to do this for individual inboxes and name them accordingly. And the second thing is you're going to go to the campaign, the daily campaign limit. So just to quickly explain the daily campaign limit and the daily warm up limit, what this basically does is it allows a campaign limit on that inbox for when you actually send out emails to a certain, you know, certain leads. And then the warm up limit is just the, the actual warm up email sending within the inbox, right? So in this case, I actually do have a lot of my warm up emails already warming up so it's like fine but if you're beginning you just want to keep it at you know somewhere around 10 or 15 20 whatever you want i mean you could start be conservative again this these things kind of de depends on your risk level what you want to do um you know if you want to be conservative if you want to be moderate just don't put something crazy in here like 80 but if you put 20 it's fine if you put 25 it's fine if you put 15 it's fine if you put 10 that's fine okay so let's just do for example, 10 suggested increase uh, per day too. And then we're gonna always wanna check mark the custom tracking domain. This improves deliverability. You're going to need to add this record type. If you don't know how to do this, um, it depends on your registrar. But for example, if I wanna check getbusinessdatabase.com and see if it has the actual, you know, custom tracking domain correct DNS setup, we're gonna put inst.getbusinessdatabase.com. And it's going to say everything is verified because I do everything correctly. See name verified, SSL active. So you're going to need to do this for your domains at your, on your registrar level. And I have some tutorials on, on how to do that. And then your reply rate. I suggest setting this anywhere from 60% to 100%. It doesn't really matter. It says suggested is 30, um, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. All right. You're going to want to you know, have your emails replied to. And um, yeah, I, I, I'll keep it at like 60 uh, for now or even 80, like I said, doesn't hurt. And then weekdays only, only send warm up emails on weekdays for a more natural sending part pattern. I disable that. I wanna you know, send emails every single day, Monday to Sunday. Read emulation, we're gonna enable that. Warm custom tracking domain, enable that. Custom tracking domain is completely different from open tracking. Custom tracking domain improves your deliverability. Open tracking uh, hurts your deliverability. So it's important to know the differences between the two. Open rate, 100%. Spam protection, 100%. Mark important at 50, okay? You can have this at 100 or 80 or you know, it doesn't really matter. Like again, all of these things, obviously the most important here is open rate. You don't wanna have this too low. You wanna have the open rate, you know, at least above 60%. Um, and spam protection, you wanna have that at 100. Cause if a email lands in spam, you wanna have, you know, the warm up actual AI software take it out of spam so it increases your reputation okay then you're going to want to save that now you are done and if you like this video and you want more like this just click the link below we have a free cold email crash course like subscribe um, the video and comment if this helped you at all I think it's going to be good because if you engage with this then it will help other people and yeah I hope this answered all of your questions as you can see um, and peace out